Hi students, today's lesson will be on complementary and supplementary angles. You, you can use facts about complementary and supplementary angles to solve problems. Let's get started. So here's some base um, vocabulary. So an angle, an angle is a figure formed by two rays with a common endpoint, right? So two rays with a common endpoint. And the way that you, so this is an angle. The way you'd write an angle, if it's one angle, the only angle you can use the vertex, okay? The common endpoint of two rays that are for an angle, the vertex, which is where the middle, where the angle is going to be right here. That point right here is your vertex. You could just say angle N if it's the only angle there. You can also use, which you're gonna do a lot of the times, is use three points and where the vertex is in the middle. So this angle is also angle A and G. Or angle G and A. Okay, and notice that like the vertex is in the middle. You can't say like angle G, A, N. The vertex always has to be in the middle. Um, an array is part of a line that has one endpoint that extends forever in one direction. So you have one endpoint and it goes forever. So array over here is right N, A and right N, G. As I said, the vertex is where the angle is, where the angle is. Protractor, I don't know if you use it or not, is this thing with the jiggy right here. Um, it can measure angles. And degrees is a unit to measure angles. Okay. So more vocabulary that has to do with this section, like 100%. So a complementary angles, um, if you, I don't know if any of you remember from yesterday's um, Desmos assignment, complementary angles is two angles whose sum is 90 degrees. And you can show right angles by this box here, okay? So just make sure you're aware of that, okay? And then you have 70 plus 20, and they add up to 90, so they're complementary. Supplementary angles is those two angles whose sum is 180. Okay, so one thing you can point out about supplementary angles is think of the line, okay? A line is 180 degrees. If you have three points over here, this angle over here, like A, B, C, would be 180 degrees. So if you had a ray coming out over here like that, these two angles, A, B, let's just do D, A, B, D, and D, B, C are supplementary because they add up to 180. So don't forget about um, when you see a line that is also 180 degrees. And adjacent angles, think of what adjacent means. If you're adjacent to somebody um, or two things are adjacent to each other, they're just next to each other. So these two angles are next to each other. They share a side. Angles one and two are adjacent because they share this side or this ray, okay? So this is the bulk of this section is going to be based upon these three vocabulary terms. Let's do some problems. All right, use a diagram to find angle PAR. So I don't know if you just remembered when I talked about it over here, right, this 180 line thing. That's what happens over here. We know that these two together is going to be 180 degrees. That angle PAT is 180 degrees. So how would you find the measure of angle PAR, which is this angle over here, right here, PAR, right here, this angle right there. Okay, how would you find that? When we know the total, well, you could think of it this way, angle PAR plus angle RAT, which is 45 degrees, would equal 180. Well, you could just on your own, just do 180 minus 45, and when you do 180 minus 45, you're going to end up getting 135 degrees. So the measure of angle PAR is 135 degrees. 
Okay. T and P are supplementary. The measure of angle T is 128. So we know that angles T plus angle P are supplementary, which is 180. So if angle T is 128, so angle T, I'm just going to replace angle T with 128. Whoops, like that. Find the measure of angle P. So 128 plus angle P is 180. Okay, and you can just subtract. And you don't need to write it as an equation. I'm just showing you how it kind of works. Okay, so when you do that, when you subtract these two, 180 minus 128 gives you 52 degrees. Fifty-two degrees. Did I just skip over? Yeah, no, we're fine. All right. Angle GRA and INS are supplementary. Find the measure of each angle. So again, we know that these two angles add up to what? One eighty. So angle GR GRA. Plus angle I and S is equal to 180 degrees. GRA is this one right here is 2x plus 4. Plus I and S is 3x plus 1. And that equals 180. Now remember, this is not like what we did before. We have we're solving an equation this time. You have to do it this way. And the first thing when you're solving an equation with more than one variable term is you got to combine your like terms. Combine your like terms. So 2x plus 3x is 5x. 4 plus 1 is 5 is equal to 180. Subtract 5. You're going to get 5x is equal to 175 divided by 5. So x is going to equal 175 divided by 5. And this is where a lot of you would end it. That's, this is not the end of the problem. The question is asking, find the measure of each angle. So this angle over here. Angle G R A is 2x plus 4. And we know that x is 35 now, so you have to go back and substitute that 35 in for 2, in for x, sorry, to get your answer. So 2 times 35 is 70 plus 4. So angle G R A is 74. Now, to find angle INS, you can go about it two ways. You could also substitute X in there, or I like this one. I like to subtract this angle from that. We know they're supplementary. They add up to 180, so you can just subtract these two and get your answer. 106. So angle INS is equal to 106. Well, let's just check our work. It doesn't hurt. 3 times 35 plus 1. This is going to be 105 plus 1. It does give you 106. So both of the angles are where they're supposed to be. 106 plus 74 is 180. And that is something you definitely should check if you're using the substitution method. All right. Or any method. How about I pause the video here and you can try it. All right, welcome back. So what do we know about these two angles over here? We know that these two together is equal to 180. So you're just going to do 73 plus 25x plus 7 is equal to 180. And why are they 180, you say? Because, again, 
they add up to form a line, which is 180 degrees. Now we just combine our two constants, our like terms. So you're gonna get 25x plus 80 is equal to 180. Subtract 80. 25x is equal to 100. Divide by 25. So x is 4. Let's put a tasking. So we're done here. Let's do another problem. What is the value of x of the diagram on the right? Well, what's different about this one? This one, they're telling you, this box over here tells you what? That tells you that it is 90 degrees. So these angles are, what was that term? We haven't done a problem like this in a while. Oh, yeah, they're complementary. They're complementary angles. These are complementary angles, so they add up to 90 degrees. So you're going to have x plus 5 plus 62 is equal to 90 degrees. So combine our like terms, x plus 67 is equal to 90 degrees. Subtract 67. You're going to get x is equal to 23 degrees. And that's it. Just do these exit cards and... You do it in here and submit an image or just um, tape it in here if you want. All right. Bye, everyone.